Okay, everybody, somewhere on the trail here, it is Friday, February 23rd, and I am standing here again in the Washita Mountains, about to hit part of the Washita Trail right across the street. I am at Foreign Gap, right on mile 68.1, and I left the car over at Highway 27 again, so this time we're going to be doing almost 55 miles, four nights. Robbie's with me again and we're just going to get everything squared away here we're going to take off so we will <laughs> we'll see you on the trail here in a second well hey guys we are just a little over a mile down the trail and we're getting some really great views off the side of the ridge as usual a little hard to see through the trees but man awesome so far it's just a beautiful day. We're gonna keep heading that way. All right, passing mile 70 here. So we're already two miles in. So far it's been pretty easy. The uphill's not too bad. We're looking off this way and I doubt you can see it through here, but looks like there's a pretty good fire back over there. A lot of smoke. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it, but anyway, it looks like we're well ahead of it, so we're going to head on. Right, buddy? Say, So we're seeing this body of water off the side of the ridge down there. Can't, not really sure what it is, but it's definitely fairly big. Again, really good views through the trees. I mean, it's kind of hard to see uh, to film, but awesome standing here all right we'll see you our next stop will be over at the spring we just took a little break and have a snack and we're gonna go over there and fill up our water that'll put us about six miles in and we might start looking for something around six eight miles in and call it a day we started about 1 30 so We'll see you over at the spring. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out on day one. We'll see you over at the spring. Ooh, if I don't fall down. Well, hey guys, it is just now about 5 o'clock. We did hit the spring, and man, it looked great. It was probably the uh, most water I've ever seen in it. I actually was able to just put my smart water bottle in there and fill it up. No need to scoop it or anything, so it was really great. And uh, we are in one of these, uh, you know, ridge zones but we're keeping an eye out for a campsite and we heard of one about a mile away so we're gonna try to get over there and check it out and hope it's big enough for two tents but we're also gonna be keeping an eye out on the way so we will hopefully see you at a campsite soon oh and look at this what do you know water running right across the trail after we just diverted off the trail and went a quarter mile to the spring, but that's okay. At least we have water. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but the moon is coming up right through those trees. Turn around and look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm gonna zoom back a little so you can see that. Absolutely beautiful. And I believe, turn around and walk with me here. I think we are gonna 
make this spot right here work because it's probably at least six o'clock and we have not seen anything as I've pointed out we're in one of those ridge zones where there isn't anything so anyway we're gonna look around here and I'll be back in a second well hey guys it is 6 40 and it is pretty dark I can spin around oh maybe I'll turn my headlamp on you might be able to see the campsite it's not too bad buddy's over there you can probably see his eyes glowing and I'm kind of, I'm standing on the trail. That's how close I am to it. Robbie's over there. We both got open air mesh tents for the evening. So it's going to be pretty cool here. And uh, not sure how far we walk today. I'll, I'll let you know in the morning when I figure it out. But anyway, thanks for hanging out with us on day one. And we'll see you soon. Hey, good morning everybody. It's Saturday, February 24th. Made it through the night here. Turned out to be a really great spot. Full moon all night. So, uh, it's like having a light on all night. <laughs> but other than that, it was really great. And uh, our big plan today is just to find water. Um, we're still a little far from brushy creek we probably won't make it there today so we've got to try to find some water between here and there and it's looking a little spotty but uh we're just hoping we'll get lucky and stumble across something but anyway we're all torn down about to get buddy's backpack on and we're gonna get out of here so we'll see you down the trail i'm standing on it right now that's how close we were to the trail all right we're out Quick pan around here, show you what I'm seeing this morning. Sun's finally up, starting to get a little bit warm. And I'm about to head downhill. All right. Beautiful. All right, we made it down to Turner Gap Shelter, one of the easiest shelters to get to, except for that last two tenths of a mile coming down that hill. <laughs> And uh, we don't hear any water running in the creek. We're both kind of low and we need to find some. Some possible caches coming up, but we hate to rely on that. So um, I've got my pack off. I think I'm going to go down there. And if I have to, all the way down there. And see if I can find something around here. So we'll let you know. I'm still at Turner Gap Shelter, and I was just going to point out the shelters right behind me. I'm standing on this little point right here. You can see the creek down there. If you walk down this side creek, right before you get to that next one, there is a really nice big pool of water down there. So, luckily we were able to load up here, took a quick break, had a snack, and now we're going to... Make the fun climb back up out of that. So we'll see you back on trail. It's about 11 o'clock and haven't been filming a whole lot because not a whole lot to see through here just kind of in the thicket forest a lot of rocks a lot of up and down today so we're just working our way over to this forest road where we're hoping 
There's a cache. It looks like a maintained one. We're hoping there's water there. And if there is, we're gold. So hopefully we will see you over at the forest road with a bunch of water. Took a short break here in the shade. It's kind of warm out. I looked at my uh, thermometer, 67 degrees right now. So definitely can feel it. But we're still heading over to that cache, hoping there's water there. So we'll see you over there. Well, hey, we are right over here by Forest Service Road 48, and there is an unbelievable cache here. You can see all the water. You see that we both are enjoying a fine, a pretty cold Gatorade even. There's all this candy in there. Uh, there's, I mean, tuna fish, there's some ramen, there's hand warmers, there's all kinds of sodas and Gatorade. And uh, Robbie believes that this cache is uh, maintained by Danny Owens. Is that Danny Owens? So if it is you, Danny... Thank you so much because we've been stressing about water all day and this has really made our day and everything's going to be great for the rest of the hike thanks to you. So we really appreciate it and we're going to enjoy some nice cold Gatorade. Well hey guys, we left the uh, cash spot back there which was just phenomenal. Felt so good to drink a Gatorade, have a few candy bars and some water. So we are all loaded up and looking for somewhere to camp and guess what? Take a look around. <laughs> As usual, uh, in the ridge zone. So we're thinking that we're going to try to get over to uh, Brushy Creek Shelter, which is less than two miles away now. And uh, check that out, but we're going to keep our eyes peeled on the way over in case we see anything. We'll just take that in case there are people there and the dog. Yeah, I'll have to keep going. So anyway, that's our plan for right now. So hopefully we'll see you soon at a campsite. Pretty good views off the side of this ridge here. Really nice. All right, we'll see you at the campsite. So I just jumped off the trail at a random point and came up to the top to look around and looky here. <laughs> I swear, this is the second time I've found a pond on this trail. You zoom back. Yeah, just climbing up to the top of the ridge. Nobody even knows this stuff is up here. I mean, not a good water source or anything, but really cool to stumble across these things well it's about 4 30 and we came out on this kind of flat spot where a road dead ends and we just decided to call it here um there has been nothing flat for miles today and so uh we're gonna call it a night here it's a pretty good spot and we're about to go over there and eat dinner where buddy's sitting over there and uh, yeah, it was a pretty good day. A little low on water, but it all worked out. And uh, weather was great. Just a, it's a pretty tough section through here. But anyway, we had a blast. We're going to hang out here for the night. And we'll catch you guys in the morning. Good night. Hey, good morning, everybody. It is Sunday, February 25th, by a little after 6.30. And um, I don't know how you judge your campsites, but if you were to judge them by on how well you slept, then this was definitely a 10, because I slept so great here. I could not believe it. Um, <clears throat> went to bed and didn't even wake up till 3 a.m., which was awesome. Usually I'm tossing and turning all night. We're just about torn down. Robbie's got a couple things to put in. And we'll be out of here. We're going to hit uh, Big Brushy Creek here in several miles. And we have our cache over there. So we're going to hit that, load up on food, get Buddy some more food, grab some water, and continue down the trail. So we'll see you on trail here in a minute. 
Well, it's been a beautiful sunrise this morning. We're not very far away from camp, but I just want to give you a shot of that through the trees. I know it's hard to see, but boy, is that gorgeous out there. Well, we're on our way to Big Brushy, and this is what it's looking like so far. Absolutely beautiful out there. Really beautiful out there. Turning into a beautiful day, really windy, but uh, great temp so far, a little warm. We started off uh, without even having our coats on and stuff for the first time, so we are still working our way to Brushy Creek, probably only about two miles from there, and hit our cache over there, so we'll see you over there. Hey guys, made it down to Big Brushy. The cache was here. You can see I got stuff all over the table. I left myself some Gatorade and Pringles. and So we're going to sit here and have a snack, drink some Gatorade. I uh, already got my clean clothes on. Dirty ones in the bucket. And just going to grab my food. And we're going to switch everything out. We'll see you back on trail. Awesome day. Since uh, we left Brushy, it's been uh, pretty rugged, you know, a lot of uphill, downhill, very rocky. And so, uh, yeah, it's a pretty challenging section, especially that first part, not a lot of water. So, just be, uh, just remember that if you're coming out here, bring lots of water. Man, beautiful out here today. A little windy which is uh really nice because it's probably around 70 i guess it's pretty warm and uh it's been pretty rocky uphill downhill since we left big brushy and we're heading over to fiddler creek or somewhere around coming up on mile 99 i know that so we're only about two miles from there so unless i see a really great opening I will see you at the creek. Hey guys, thanks for hanging with us on day three. Really appreciate it. Let's get down to Fiddler's Creek. Hey guys, we just got down here to the old Fiddler Creek Shelter. Remember this place very well. Always a good little jump off because you can see the trail's just right back there. So you only have to take about 20 steps off trail to get here. So we're going to take a quick one here and then head on down to the creek. So we will see you down at Fiddler's Creek. Made it down to Fiddler's Creek from the shelter, and we're going to load up everything here. Climb up this big hill that's coming up, and we're going to hit the next campsite. Well, I'm almost to camp. I'm on the top of this ridge, and I'm getting kind of a good view out there, so wanted to share it with you real quick. And there's supposed to be a good campsite about six or seven tenths of a mile ahead. So I'm going to go check that out. And if it's good, I'm going to go ahead and set up there. So I'll see you over there. Well, we are a couple miles past Fiddler's Creek. And we got to the place we were talking about. And there are a couple pretty good spots here. Um, there's water down at the bottom of that hill about two tenths of a mile down. And it's a pretty good... Uh, <laughs> It was a pretty good climb up here. We almost thought about staying down there, but kind of glad we pushed on and came up here so we don't have to do that climb in the morning. And we're up on top of the ridge, so that's always nice. Got a pretty good spot over here. Probably got a good spot right over there. Fire ring over there. You can probably see it. And we're going to hang out here. It's already coming up on 4 o'clock. And... 
we're just gonna chill out and eat some dinner and do it all again in the morning so we'll see you tomorrow thanks for hanging out with us Hey, good morning. It is Monday, February 26th, and this turned out to be a really great campsite. Um, it's actually really warm last night. I woke up a few times in my sleeping bag and was kind of hot. Had to unzip it and get out a little bit. So, as you can see, my coat's over there in that tree, so I don't even have it on. It's about, let's see, 645. So, that's how warm it is out here which is pretty great for February. And uh, anyway, we're going to try to make it over to Story Creek Shelter today, which is just a little over 13 miles. Got a couple, a rainy creek coming up, and then maybe a potential one after that. So as usual, look for water and hike to the shelter. So this will, if there's nobody there, we're staying in the shelter tonight for our last night so anyway good morning and we'll see you on trail so we're cruising down the trail which has been wonderful this morning uh really smooth since we left camp and looking down here we got tons of water i'm guessing this is rainy creek and we're probably going to cross it up here it said it was about two miles from our camp and so we've been cruising because it's been uh, pretty easy walking and uh can see there's no sun the sun came up and went right behind the clouds so it's uh, just a really great temperature i mean it feels awesome out here and uh anyway i'm pretty much out of water but we're gonna be down at the creek here in a second so it's looking good and we'll see you down there well i made it down to rainy creek i'm standing up here on the bridge pretty high bridge um came from that way and i think about two tenths of a mile back when you pop out onto the road it might actually be easier to walk down and get it i just went down there wasn't too bad but i uh, had to do it i was pretty much out but anyway plenty of water and we're heading on next stop suck mountain <laughs> and we have heard there's water there so we'd load it up anyway but we'll see you over at suck mountain shelter Hey guys, we made it up to the Suck Mountain Shelter. A lot of water here. Really awesome little place. Third time I've been up here and I just love it every time. Pretty good view. Walk around and show you. Really nice. You can see a little trail there with a white blaze and that's where the cache is if you're interested couple bottles in the shelter as well I think there were six of them in there we had a few and went down and got a couple more to restock we're gonna hang out here for a little bit eat some snacks drink some water and then just head on and of course our ultimate goal will be Story Creek shelter so we'll see you back on trail here in a minute Got rivers to cross, I've got mountains to climb, I've got miles to go, I've got you on my mind. Alright guys, this is 
is our last full day. Let's go hang out with us again on day four. Let's get over to Story Shelter. Well, here's kind of a view. We're probably approaching mile 112. It's been beautiful. Really great walk today. A little warm, but the sun's kind of coming in and out, so it's not too bad. But we're gonna keep pressing on towards the shelter. Hey guys, just checking in real quick. Uh, we're probably two and a half. I know we're less than three miles from the Story Creek shelter, and we're just gonna stop there for today, and that'll leave us five miles tomorrow to get to the car so um, we just finished up a pretty long break back there because we're getting over here so fast we decided to chill out and have some snacks and leaned up against the log and just sat there for a good half hour or more and uh, anyway heading over to Story Creek and we'll see you over there Well, hey guys, I'm standing here in front of Story Creek, and I'm not even, it's five o'clock. I've been here for quite some time, probably at least an hour and a half, I'd say. And uh, we're going to hang out here for tonight because we are exactly on the dot five miles from the car. So in the morning, we're just going to take off that way. And I haven't set up yet because in case... Well, I'm not going to set up my tent, but I haven't got my stuff out because if somebody does show up, I may have to go camp down there somewhere having the dog with me. So I'm just kind of hanging out. But anyway, it has been one great day of hiking. It was just beautiful weather. We had a lot of fun getting over here. Took our time, took a lot of breaks. This has been awesome. And so we're just going to hang out here for the night and enjoy this beautiful sunset and we'll see you in the morning we'll knock it out five miles to the car good night kind of our last look at the sun going down here at the story creek shelter and just want to quickly show you how cool our setup is in here look we got a dog for protection i'm set up over here pretty cool robbie's over here it's pretty neat uh only the third time I've been in a shelter, so it's fun to do something different, and it's going to be cool. So we're going to hang out here the rest of the night until it gets dark here. We're just going to sit here and enjoy it. So see you tomorrow. Hey, good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday, February 27th, and we made it through the night here at Story Creek Shelter. Pretty good shelter, I must say. Uh, um, my only problem is my pad is not staying inflated all night, so it was a little uncomfortable on the hard wooden floor. So I had to air it up a few times in the middle of the night, but that's thermarest quality for you. Anyway, really good night here. We got five miles on the dot to the car, and we're gonna hopefully cross a few creeks on the way i think muddy creek and smith creek maybe we're not taking much water out of here so if we need some we should have some on the way and other than that we're gonna hit the trail Oh, 
harder than I realized. Hey guys, I really, really appreciate you hanging out with us here on this hike, and we're probably only four and a half miles from the car. Just wanted to say thanks again for sticking with us, and we'll see you at the car. Hey guys, we are here at mile 118 and this is Muddy Creek. I'm standing up here on a really tall bridge. Back up, you can see it. Tons of water here today, but you know, that's always how it seems to be. When there's tons of water, you don't really need it. We're only, I don't know, three miles from the car now, so we've got plenty of water. We're gonna keep heading on. Muddy Creek, pretty nice though. Especially up that way, really pretty. We made it to mile 121, so we are 0.7 from the car. See you there in a minute. All right, guys, we made it. Highway 27. Another successful hike. About 53.6 uh, miles. We're just going to call it 55 because that sounds so much better. But anyway good to be at the car it's just a shade before 9 30 so not too bad we left the shelter maybe a couple minutes after seven five miles on the dot and we're here we're gonna head on down to the bluebell maybe grab some coffee some donuts and junk food and gatorade and all kinds of crap so i really appreciate you guys coming along with us again We'll see you somewhere on the trail, man. Take care.
last night It's like the pain when you just can't cry It's like you're dead but you know you never died It's like the pain when you just can't cry It's like you're dead but you know you never died If you think you're wrong well then you're right You're like the dead 